Hello, welcome to BISP Solutions. Today we are discussing SAP Petty Cash or Cash Journal. So what is this? The Cash Journal is a subledger of bank accounting. It is used to manage a company's cash transaction. The system automatically calculates and displays the opening and closing balances and receipt and payment totals. So there are few steps which we need to follow to configure Cash Journal in SAP. These are the few steps. First step is to create DL accounts. Then we define document type, then number ranges. Then we set up the cash journal, then create business transaction and then set up print parameters. So let's go to the screen, type SPRO, SAP reference IMG. Financial accounting, then bank accounting, business transactions, cash journal. Create GL account for cash journal. So this is FS00 screen only. So first is cash, petty cash. See, <coughs> this is cash account. Earlier they were four. But after 2020 release, uh, there is one more cash account is added. Now under cash account, there are three things that is bank reconciliation account, petty cash and bank sub account. Bank sub account is used for clearing account, petty cash we are going to use right now. And then bank reconciliation, it is used for main bank. Okay, so we selected this petty cash, short text petty cash, control data, sort key you can give 001, currency INR, then field status you can give G001, and then a post automatically. It is mandatory, mandatory to tick on post automatically only. Now save, then. Then we created Balance sheet item, current asset, cash transfer from bank to cash journal. It is also post automatically. And then cash transfer from cash journal to bank. Okay. Cash journal to bank. So this is also post automatically only. Then expense account and revenue account, you can also create. After this, the next step is to define document. Next step is to define document type. Go back. Then define document. Uh, define number range intervals first define document type for journal entry document type is a b see document type a b number range is 0 1 and this is all the account types are allowed like asset customer vendor master jail account and all and this is control data so let's go back then define number range Company code is N102, enter, click on intervals, give number range 01. You can give any number range to it. I have given 1001 to 1100, save. Then save. Go back, go back. Next step is to set up cash journal. So this is the standard one. We copy this, copy company code, give company code. In my case, it is N102 CJC. Here, this is cash journal. 
here you can uh, run several cache journals for each company code okay so like cache journal one zero zero one two three four five you can create many so i am giving in 100 cache journal then journal account jail account we have to give here So we have created petty cash. Open one more screen, one more session. Type FS00, enter. Cash account 1282. 1282. Currency INR. If you want to close the cash journal, you can tick here. Then see, this is used for KZ type that it is for payment uh, vendor. Vendor for customers. KZ, DZ. Okay, customer payment, vendor payment. And just give a narration to it petty cash okay after this just save the data and save save now go back maintain business transactions First, I will show you. See, there are various type of transactions are given here. C for receipt from bank account, payment to bank account. B, R for revenue, E for expenses, D for customer posting and K for vendor posting. So you can define accordingly. So I will show you, wait. I have defined for payment and receipt. Now, Copy these two and we do the same for receipt from bank and this is payment to bank. Then jail account. See, transfer from bank account to cash journal, cash receipt, and then payment. Now give the jail numbers. 1297. And one to nine eight. Receive from bank and Payment to bank. Or we can say transfer to bank.
एंड सी गो बैक now set up print printer for cache journal print parameters for cache journal so we copy from this 001 it is the standard one in sap give our company code and see go back see see FBCG for posting entries. FBCG is the T code, and FBCG in my case is N one hundred. Yes, this one. Enter. So there is a cash payment tab, cash receipt tab, and check receipt tab. So. First cash receipt, business transaction, say receive from bank, amount fifty thousand, jail account, Select House Bank, HDFC, Account ID, Cash payment. Enter. Payment to bank. Then select amount. Say twenty thousand. Select jail account. Enter. Cash transfer from journal to bank. House bank. Say DFC text payment to bank. F B C G enter receipt from bank amount fifty thousand 
jail account enter cash receipt from bank give house bank hdfc account id then text receive from bank enter The entry is in red status. Highlight this, then save, select. This is in the yellow status. Now highlight this and click on post. See, now this document is in green status and see it is appearing here. Opening balance fifty thousand, then total cash receipt, check receipt, and cash payment. Okay, this is all one screen transaction. Here you can display uh, date wise. So this is today's date. Then today this week current period. You can select accordingly. See this is opening balance and this is closing balance. Now we do one cash payment entry. We do one expense entry. Payment amount say five thousand. Then select jail account. Cash expense. Then highlight this. Save selected. See, it is appearing forty five thousand. Now after this, highlight this and just post this. Now entering it saved. Okay. Okay. So net closing balance of cash is forty-five thousand. Let's open. Ah, uh, let's check FS one zero N. Enter. Select petty cash account. Petty cash one two eight two. Enter company code, fiscal year, and execute. See, debit balance of cash is fifty thousand, and payment entry five of five thousand. Net balance is forty five thousand. So, I hope you understand this. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching.